Welcome to old number 2435. My name is Bill Turner. I'm a pretty porter, as you can see. But <clears throat> this old trolley was built by the Cincinnati Car Company located at Spring Grove and Mitchell Avenue. By golly, they built thousands of trolleys like this one, and they sold them all over the country. But around 1940, the transit company here at Cincinnati decided these old trolleys were obsolete. They said they were old, noisy, they didn't carry enough passengers. Oh, General Motors, Firestone, and Standard Oil is pushing the idea of these new gasoline-driven buses. State-of-the-art, best buses money could buy. So in 1940, the transit company took all the trolleys off the streets and replaced them with these new expensive buses, which worked real well until Pearl Harbor, World War II came along, when not only gas was rationed, so was rubber. If you look across the street there at Mr. Mueller's gas station, you'll notice that gasoline is 19 cents a gallon. But it's rationed. You only allow three gallons a week. That put an end to all those Sunday afternoon drives in the country. So with that, the transit company took all those new expensive buses off the streets, went to the garage, and they brought back these old trolleys. Because as you know, they used neither gas nor rubber. They're powered by electricity. So, all during the Second World War, these old trolleys carried a passenger load of over 380,000 passengers every day all over Cincinnati. Why, they were the workhorse of transportation here in this town. This old trolley is truly a Cincinnati icon.